If I hit a brick wall, Splice is a really good avenue to dig into for inspiration. You are given a starting point, you know? And then it's your job as an artist or a songwriter or a producer to take that starting point and create something unique, something different, something you. Our whole idea behind this sample pack is to create a bridge between electronic culture and rock culture and get more organic influence within that music. I always try to influence producers that use vocal samples to take that sample and create something of their own. I run my vocals through a cardioid reference mic and I run that through a Shadow Hills EQ and compressor. So you really do get the same shimmer and character from these samples as you would get from listening to you know, an Icy Star song or really anything I do. There's a lot of different phrases, there's uh, different articulations, and there's a lot of cool oohs, ahs, yas, um, and different keys, different BPMs, a lot of fun vocals. So right now I'm gonna dive into the Fear the Voice sample pack, and we're just gonna uh, try a few things and, and try to create something new out of some of these sounds. So I'm gonna go to the Fear the Voice sample pack. I'm gonna just go through one of these. We'll grab this one right here. Now I like to use Melodyne, so I'm gonna grab Melodyne. Here I'm gonna take the separation tool and separate these notes because I really wanna have full control over this melody. I wanna be able to take it to wherever I want. And we're gonna bring it down a couple stummy tones. Okay, now to give it a little bit more character, I'm gonna grab the format tool. I'm gonna drag the format down. Kind of clears things up a little bit. Next, I'm going to grab the pitch tool. And I'm going to move some of these notes around. Move this note up. Just like that, you already have a new melody. The reality is everything sounds cool with reverb on it, but you always want your main vocal to be present. And I think that um, it's sometimes a really hard thing to do. Um, so right now I'm gonna use the stock delay and the stock uh, reverb. So we'll bring down the reverb. We're gonna open up a group track. We'll name this reverb. And then we'll open up another chain and we'll label this dry. We'll open up another chain and we'll label this delay. So now you have separation. One thing you wanna make sure you do is you wanna make sure that all your effects are completely wet because you already have your dry signal on this group chat. We're gonna add the delay. Just do simple delay for now. Now, I will automatically bring everything down negative 10 dB. Keep your dry track at zero. You can hear that delay, you can hear that reverb, but most importantly, you hear everything in that main vocal. You hear all the character, you hear all the articulation, and that's really important with uh, vocal sample work and vocal work in general.